Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm here to share with you guys three cards that I made all using the Diamond Dies Teddy Bear Buildable Set. This is such a versatile set, so I wanted to come on and share a process video with you guys on how you can stretch the versatility of this die set. It is so cute. So this first card I made, I used the bear set as it was intended. So this is the face, this is the muzzle right here, this is the arm, so you use one for the left and one for the right, you kind of flip it. And then this is the ear, the outer ear and inner ear. This is the belly right here, but you can also turn it on its side so that it looks like it's got a big paunch, uh, like a big tummy here. This is the nose, it's a pretty big nose. This is the eye set, and you use the big one for the background, the white. You use this for the colored part of the eye, and then you use this for the inner part, the pupil of the eye. Then you have the foot. This is the paw back here, and this is the paw pads. So it has the full set that you can use to make this adorable little bear. And I added some ink blending uh, to the muzzle and to the belly. I used a Tim Holtz Distress Ink in antique linen just to give like a little yellowy glow to it. I use for the bear just craft cardstock and then I ink the edges with vintage photo distress ink. Then for the inside of the ears, I wanted a little bit of a pink hue, so I blended on some sponge sugar for that portion, just the inside of the ears. And then I doodled in just a little mouth, so it says ooh, and I put some highlighting on the paw pads, on the pupils, and on the nose just with a white gel pen. I used my favorite Uniball Signo white gel pen for that. Then for this background, I picked some papers from Doodlebug Designs Lovebirds. This is a retired collection, but I love the pinks in it. Then to make this little bear into a Cadbury Easter bunny, <laughs> I added some cute little Easter bunny ears. This is from a Jolie's Boutique set that I bought last year uh, for 99 cents at t Tuesday morning. And it's so cute, it has all these different ears. Um, and then I stamped out this little speech bubble. It was an Imagines, uh little simple stamp that I had in my stash. And then I just wrote in walk, walk, walk <laughs> for the clucking of the chicken. Uh, and then for the inside, I used just more of the scraps of the paper and then one of the cut aparts from their Easter set. Uh, this is also from Doodlebug and I just cut a cut apart for Hippity Hoppity Easter's on its way, just a little sentiment. And that's my first card using this Build-A-Bear die set. Then, because you know I love dogs, I had to transform one of them into a puppy. And it was really easy to do. I used everything except not the nose, not a separate muzzle, and not uh, the inside of the ears. And I turned the ears onto their side so it looks like a little puppy. And then I used a Peachy Keen stamp set. It's this happy-go-lucky dog face assortment. And then I used the biggest face here. I stamped it out on white cardstock and then cut apart the little eyes and the little mouth, including the teeth and the bones, so it looks like this is a little puppy dog rather than a bear. And I just used some scraps. Uh, this is for a birthday card. I used one of the cut aparts from the Doodlebug Puppy Love collection, and I have him holding that. And then for the edges here, I used a grass border die. This is, I believe, from MFT. And then for the inside, I just used another little scrap of paper. I think it's from the same collection as this, but it's so old, I have no idea what collection that is. Uh, I used that grass border trim again, and then another little cut apart from that Puppy Love paper collection. I added a little bit of a pink hue to the cheeks, and I did that with some color pencils, a pale pink and a pink from my Prismacolor color pencil set. And I just did a really light coloring on those little cheeks. 
and everything else is basically the same as for the bear. And then lastly, I did this bunny, which I think came out so cute. Again, with this Build-A-Bear die set, but this time, rather than having the bear ears, I used the muzzle, this piece right here, and I cut it out once out of the craft, and then I offset it, and then cut it out once with some cardstock that I ink blended some spun sugar on. And I did that to just give a pink hue to the paw pads, the belly, the inside of the ears and the muzzle. And it's amazing how versatile, right? The set is so great. I was able to make this bunny and I doodled in this little mouth and some eyebrows and I doodled just these two front teeth here. So easy to do on a little piece of white cardstock and then cut them out and put them in there. This little bow is also from that Jolie's Boutique sticker set. This is a paper from that Doodlebugs Easter stack. And because there was a little train here, I covered that up with another little strip of that uh, grass that I cut out of some pale green cardstock and inked the edges of. I did that inking of all of the grass and all of this with mowed lawn. And now I'll go through and share with you guys how to use this die set for each of the different critters. So one of the other things that I love about dies is that you can use up scraps. I'm running through just with a little scrap of craft cardstock, the body and the face. They're almost the same size. The body's a slight bit bigger. And now I'm using another scrap and running through the arm, the foot and the ear, the outside ear. And then I'm gonna run those again because you want a left and a right side, obviously. So that same scrap of paper I use to cut all those little pieces out. And then I'm using some white cardstock, again, another scrap to cut out the muzzle and the belly. I want this to be a lighter color contrasting with the craft cardstock. And now I'm gonna use a little black scrap of cardstock for the paw pads. And of course, I need a second set of that. Let me pop out those little paw pad toe areas and I'm running that through one more time for the other foot. Now I'm gonna stamp out the face to make this little dog. And I'm gonna stamp it out uh, using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I've got a piece of white cardstock here and I'm going to ink up this brand new stamp. This is a super high quality, I think. It feels awesome. And I'm stamping that out onto the white cardstock and then again, I'm gonna move the other little ear pieces out of the way to stamp out the face onto the little face of the die cut puppy. And you can see already how cute this is gonna look, but I wanted to make sure that the bone was white. So I cut out, I fussy cut that out of the white cardstock and I included the teeth. And right here you see me just inking the edges with my Memento Tuxedo Black marker so that you don't see the white edges of these little tiny pieces when I add them to the face of the puppy uh, on the craft die cut piece. And I do that, you know, it's a little extra step, but I think it really makes a big difference in the completed look. Now I'm just taking some wet glue. This is my favorite wet glue. It's art glitter glue with a fine nozzle tip. And there, it fits in perfectly, right? Just a little fussy cutting and that really, the white areas here really make the puppy's face pop. And I'm just turning it in the right direction there and voila. Now I'm taking a white Signo pen to get that white highlight onto the little nose. And now I'm gonna just ink the edges of all of the craft cardstock die cut pieces. I'm not gonna show you all of them, I just wanted to show you that this was the process I went through so that each of the pieces kind of stands out one from another. And for this, I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Now for the belly, I didn't want it to be stark white, so I decided I was gonna ink the edges with this antique linen. And I think that that adds a nice little hue. Now I'm taking a warm gray, this is a W1, and just putting in some shadowed areas on this little bone that the puppy is holding in its teeth so that it doesn't look, again, just like a plain white. It has a little bit of dimension to that bone. 
Now I'm gonna attach the ears. I'm gonna show you the whole process of putting the pieces together to make this little puppy. So the ears, which are the bear's outside ears, I've turned to their sides. Now I'm gonna put the belly in and then attach the head to that body with the belly attached. And now for the arms. Now I'm first attaching the arms rather low onto this body. And if it was like a rag doll kind of dog, then I think that would be fine. Off camera, I end up moving these up a little bit and show less of the arm length. And I think that that was perfect for the sign that I had this little puppy dog holding later. Now I'm attaching the feet. These big, big feet are so cute, uh, especially once you get in the little paw pads into each of the feet there. I don't think there's any right way or wrong way in terms of the direction of the paws uh, or the paw pads in these feet. Uh, they're all slightly differently shaped and I think that that just adds to the charm of these cute paws. And I'm just adding each of the little toe paw pads uh, so that it looks complete. And I like the black with paw pads here that coordinate so nicely with the blacks of the eyes of the and the nose. And now I've decided I'm gonna make the cheeks a little pink and I'm just using a color pencil, this pink Prismacolor pencil to add those rosy cheeks. Now I wanted to show you guys that for the next little critter, I wanted the these areas to have that yellowish hue. So I'm blending the color completely onto the cardstock. This is plain white cardstock. And if I had had a kind of creamy, yellowy cardstock, I would have probably used that. But I think blending on the ink is perfectly fine for that. I'm also using the smaller ear pieces. This is the inner ear and I'm blending on some sponge sugar. And I'm also inking the edges of these little pieces so that you don't get that white uh, edge of the these little inner ear pieces because you want that to have like a finished look. And I think inking the edges really helps do that. So this is the construction of the bear. So I'm using the pieces exactly as they were intended. I'm going to put the inner ear pieces in and now I'm gonna blend on the vintage photo distress ink onto the edges. And I do that for all of the craft pieces. Now you see all of the cut pieces for the eyes and I'm using the middle size with the lar blue with the large size of the white and then I'm gonna use the smallest of the black. Um, and I'm not throwing away the other pieces because I can use some of the other pieces for smaller eyes for a different critter later on. But you see how quickly these eyes come together and having, having that little slice of blue showing really helps bring the eyes to life, I think. Now I'm going to assemble this piece. This is the face and you can see that the muzzle fits right over top of the base. and it doesn't fit exactly, but it's totally fine because the face piece gets covered up. And I wanted to show you how this whole piece gets put together. This is the nose, these are the eyes, and I'm gonna tuck in the eyes just behind the muzzle and tucked in by the nose so that it looks like, you know, all the pieces fit together and you don't see kind of the edges of the eyes where I glued on the pieces a little bit crooked. <laughs> but I think that came out looking so cute like that, so easy. Now I'm gonna put in the ears, tucking those behind the face and that I think bare face looks so adorable. I wanted to add some highlighting again, so I'm using a white gel pen to put a little shine on the top of the nose. I'm also gonna add a big dot and a smaller dot on the pupils of each eye, and I think that that adds a nice shiny look. I think off camera later, I uh, also add a little mouth, just a line down from, straight down from the nose of the little circle, and that creates a kind of open mouth look for the bear. Now I'm assembling the body. I use that uh, oval piece cut out twice, once with the whiter portion for the belly and then the lower belly kind of hanging over uh, as this bear is slouched in a sitting position. And I think that that adds such character and cuteness to this little bear body. Now I'm attaching the arms and I flipped one of them over, obviously, as you can see, so you get a left and a right. 
and um, I've glued those onto the back of the body. And now I'm going to glue the head onto the body itself. And depending on how high or low you put it, the bear gets, looks more slouchy or less slouchy. Now, because the muzzle is such a pale color, I decide to start the blush with a pale pink. And I could have left it at that, but I end up actually adding a second color. I add a regular pink also. Uh, previously, you saw on the puppy that I just used the plain pink, um, but here I use the pale pink and then the plain pink. <laughs> now I'm going to color up another piece of white cardstock with the sponge sugar. And that's because for the bunny rabbit, I wanted some of the parts to look more pink. And again, if I had pink cardstock that I liked the color of, I would have just used that, but I wanted a soft pink that I didn't have. And so blending on this color directly onto white cardstock and then inking the edges like I'm doing here really gives a nice finished look. Now for the eyes, this is what I was mentioning previously. I had some leftover pieces, so I'm gonna first use the smaller piece of the blue cardstock, that's the smallest die cut piece, and then I used a hole punch that I flashed really quickly at the beginning to cut punch out a little pupil, and then I'm gonna cut off the little excess part down there, and then I can tuck this piece just behind the muzzle. I didn't do a great job here. But I end up moving it. I don't know if I do that on or off camera, but you can see the assembly. I use the medium size white, the smallest blue, and then that hole punch for the pupil with the black. And that creates a really cute eye as well. A little bit smaller than the one that I had for the bear, but I think it fits perfectly with this size bunny anyway. And then I use the largest eye piece for a smaller nose for the rabbit. Pretty cute, huh? There are so many ways that you can mix up how you use all of these various die cut pieces. I did another pink belly, and then this time I'm turning the head a little bit askew to the right so that it looks like it's cocking its head to the right a little bit. I think that adds a little cute uh, body positioning there. And I'm attaching the arms just the same as I did for the dog and for the bear. This bunny rabbit, I actually keep the arms in place because it looks to me more like a little rag doll kind of bunny toy. And then I add here, I'm just showing you really quick how I just doodled on a little mouth, cute little cheek. And then I'm gonna add some highlighting to the nose and also to the pupils of the eyes with a white gel pen. And I think these kinds of little details really make the die cut pieces come to life. Um, the contrast with that white gel pen. Off camera, I doodled on some little teeth and I cut that out, inked the edges, and then I'm putting that into place at the base of that little mouth. And then I decide, mm, I think the bunny could use some eyebrows. So I just doodle those in as well, just with a black uniball marker. And this bunny's pretty much complete. I had so much fun playing with this teddy bear buildable die set from Diamond Dies. Making it into a bear, a dog, and a rabbit was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you're interested in this teddy bear buildable die set from Diamond Dies or any other Diamond Dies, don't forget to use the coupon code THANKSCHRISTINA for 10% off and free worldwide shipping on all orders of $35 or more. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.